Hi everyone, Crystal here from Our Spring Farmer Country. We are just doing some weekend projects today. We're going to kind of bounce all over the place so you're along for the ride. We've got some electric fencing that we're going to put up to expand the area for the goats, but the battery has to charge. So today we're just going to kind of map out where we want it to go, where we want a gate to go. We've got a tree to move, cut up. Um, we had an old jungle gym in the front yard from the previous owner's children and we've been using a lot of the wood off of that to make other projects such as the gates and things that you've seen in other videos and we may be stealing a little more lumber off of that to do the gate work or some other work that we're doing but anyway um, it's just gonna be here there and everywhere today you're gonna see goats fencing trees who knows what but come along for the ride and we'll show you what we're doing Gotta drag this tree out of there, so we're gonna put BB to work today. Oh, that chain wasn't strong enough. Again. All right, here's try number two with a bigger chain. Take this one. surprised that that went as well as it did. He was expecting them to put up much more of a fight. But we got those two logs moved, so now we can move on.
All right, so we've kind of mapped out the area that we want to put the electric fencing to expand the goat pen. So what we got to do now is clean up all the other brush and tree limbs and things like that that's in the way, and also that the goats and chickens really don't need to be eating. Um, so I'm going to work on that while James goes and gets the gate. He's going to start working on the gate area for the expansion. And that's kind of it for the moment. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me here, but we're going to take it all the way around these trees here. And it'll actually be a pretty good extra area for them. And the nice thing is, is we're replacing the gate. We can actually make paddocks off of that with the electric fencing and move them periodically when they've gone through all the brush on there. So they constantly have some fresh grass and brush and weeds and all that good stuff to forage on. Because when we put them in their fence to start with, it took them less than a week to clear it out. And I mean clear it out. And it's not just the goats. Yeah, goats are great for weed control, but chickens. The chickens eat as much as the goats do. They love leaves and grass and weeds and all those things too. So if you need weed control, don't just think goats. Get some chickens. But anyway, I'm gonna get busy on this. Thank you. 
All right, so I'll take you around to see what we did. What we did was uh, we did put up the Premier One fencing. We had contacted them and they gave us a discount on their fencing to show it on the channel. And of course we had done a lot of research beforehand and knew that we wanted to go with Premier One. But I have to say that once we got it laid out and knew exactly where we wanted to put the stakes, it went up quite easily. I, I know on a lot of channels or a lot of reviews on it, you'll hear how difficult it is or what a pain in the butt it is. And it really wasn't. I mean, it's really based on your terrain too. If you've got really rocky area, it's probably going to be more difficult. And we had a few areas that were rocky, but we were able to maneuver the stakes around them. So we were able to get it up a little easier. Um, we got a few odds and ends still to do on this project, such as finishing up the gate. Here, let me turn this around. So here's the fencing. Gives them a really nice bigger area. You can see the chickens are already coming on over here. But here we've still got to finish putting up the gate and all that good stuff when we want to keep them out. Um, but we thought we would get them in here tonight so they can check out their new space and see what they think about it. Of course, they'll have to be trained to the fencing. Like with all animals with electric fencing, it's not fun to see how, you know, when they get shocked that first time. Okay, it might be a little funny sometimes, but um, but goats are smart and chickens are smart too. So it's only going to take a shock or two and they're going to know and respect their boundaries and stay within the fence itself. And then, of course, as we said earlier, this allows us to have kind of a moving paddock for them. Once they clear out this area, then we can move it over to another section and then to another section, etc. So all year round, we can be moving them now so they're not just stuck in their one pen that they cleared out a long time ago. But anyway, that's really it for this project today. We'll show you everything when it all gets wrapped up and the gate is up and all that good stuff, but that will be in another video. So please hit that like button, comment down below with your thoughts on the project, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.